The main objective of the entrepreneurship module is actually quite simple. We're not trying to create entrepreneurs, we're actually trying to develop an entrepreneurial mindset in everybody who's in the program. We have a lot of managers, and in today's economy, a lot of companies are finding that the middle manager who has an entrepreneurial mindset is who drives the innovation and ultimately drives the growth of their company. Well, the entrepreneurial uh, project is actually crucial for every MBA program that's offering it for two key reasons. One, it's actually a capstone course. It comes at the end, closer to the end of the program, so it requires that you've, you're drawing and using everything else you've learned in our program. Finance, accounting, even statistics, marketing. You put them all together and you're kind of getting tested again in a, in a more real world situation and you're working as a team. So there are also aspects of leadership, presentation skills come together in an actual real world project, which quite frankly, you can fail. So there's a lot of pressure on people to prove that not only they can work together as a team and work on a project, but they're demonstrating that they really have learned and can apply, not just pass the test, but apply what they've learned in the other classes. Well, the module has two parts. Like every other course, we have lecture, which is, I like to say it's a discussion around topics which are important to entrepreneurship because we're not necessarily teaching people to be entrepreneurs, we're giving them the tools that they need. So they have a better understanding of the, the policies, the political climate, the types of skills, and the, actually the personality that helps you to become an entrepreneur. But then the second part of the course, which is a total team-based activity, is the students before the course actually submit ideas that they have for new ventures. Then, just like in the real world, not everybody can win. We typically have 12 to 14 student entrepreneurs, or want to be entrepreneurs, submit their ideas and present them to the class in a very short elevator pitch, which takes less than two minutes. And then they vote and the teams are formed. Then, over the course of several months, through the teams working together, they go out and they actually speak with customers, potential investors, potential suppliers. They're going out not to prove that their idea is going to work. They're actually trying to kind of use more of the scientific method to disprove it. Because if they can spend several months to try to see what is wrong with the idea, and after all that time, collectively, they decide they would still want to go forward with the idea, there's no guarantee it's going to succeed. But there's a much better chance that they've thought about the right things. And the last component is actually they pitch it to a professional jury as well as their classmates. It's a 15, 20 minute presentation followed by questions and in the end they get the answer with respect to what the experts think. But at the, at the end of the day it's up to the entrepreneur or the team to go forward. And I try to structure the course as though it is real world. So from my standpoint, with the six teams, I offer feedback in the way of telling them what they're doing wrong during the initial stages of the course, because I want them to spend their time together. It's, very, it's a very busy program. They spend their time together doing as much as they can to progress the project. The school has invested countless amount of money in databases, which allow the students to go and uh, access commercial databases, which have reports that you would typically get from like a consultancy. They have access to databases, which include every single newspaper or magazine in every language you can think of. So they can get a current state-of-the-art um, snapshot or perspective of the field or the technology that they're looking to do. And part of my job isn't to do the research for them, but to steer them in the right direction so that they can find that, but ultimately I see my job as being, I call it, an injection of reality. Whenever they start to think too confidently about their idea, my goal and my objective is to ground them and make sure that they're not being overly optimistic because I don't want them to go into the real world and potentially, you know, lose their money or someone else's.